What's up everybody, Teldo here. Today is November the 10th, 2016, and it's patch day. A new patch, patch 0.9, is going to be deployed later today on the Battle Rite servers, and I'm super excited for it. The patch is going to include a new champion and a bunch of balancing changes. The name of the new champion is Esmo the Mischievous, and he looks really cool. There's a little teaser, I can put it in the link. Uh, I can put the link in the description down below if you're interested in watching it. And there's also a couple general features that are being implemented. There is extended champion progression, so every champion can be leveled up to level 20 now, which I'm really excited for. And it includes additional rewards such as legendary chests and titles. And the legendary chests can contain at least one legendary item, which is pretty cool. Then there's also the new feature which allows you to play with the same people at the end of the match if you really like playing with them. And I think that's really cool because it kind of reminds me of Goa's 1 Arena. I didn't play it massively much, but just having like when you're on a streak and where you're doing well and you just really like playing with that person, you can just add them and play with them together, making it easier to find new buddies on Battle Ride. I think it's cool. Then let's go to the first uh, changes for champions. Buckle has gotten a couple fixes, so his bulwark reflects the harpoon of Shifu properly now, as well as the X strikes from Taya. Nothing really big, but it's a good change, so I'm looking forward to that. Then Croak probably received the most changes in this patch. Um, he has been performing well in lower brackets, but has been dropping out in higher ranks, which is an issue. I've been seeing this issue for a while now, and they're trying to fix a little bit of this with the, some of the changes here. And I agree with them, mostly, honestly. Um, first of all, Sludge Spit has been fixed. Uh, it used to, I mean, it applies blind, right? And it used to not be able to be dispelled, but now it can be. So that's just I mean, honestly, it was really silly before. Don't think it was like super OP, honestly, but it was silly. So I'm happy about this. Then a wonderful change here, Camouflage. Movement speed has been increased from 10% to 20% baseline. So excited for this because on round one, Croak was really not very good. He relies heavily on his stealth to just open up on enemies and get that stun. That's his highest pressure ability. That's basically what makes or breaks Croak if he hits that stun. And having only 10% movement speed increase on it, really killed him in round one. So in round two, you took the stealth talent pretty much most of the time, unless there's like some some situations where some teams, um, it didn't really matter that much against some teams how much movement speed you had, because uh, maybe you played against two melees or something like that, and then you could just switch between the targets easily anyway. Anyway, great change, super excited for this. I've been asking for this and they changed it. So that's super awesome. Then Deceit, um, movement speed bonus has been increased from 15% to 30% due to a bug. It was actually 30% before, so it doesn't change anything. It's get, I guess it's just a tooltip change in this, at this point. That's also why I use this seat a lot, and it's nice to see that it, like, it felt a lot faster than actually 15%. It was just 30% all along, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, you're moving a lot faster than expected with this. And I mean, it doesn't change anything. But it's a good tooltip change. Then Frog Leap, the spacebar ability has two extra damage now. It might not change massively much in the middle of the match, like fighting against enemies, but with those two extra damage, the orb can be killed with one spacebar and I think four auto attacks. Yeah, yeah, four auto attacks. Um and yeah, that was not possible before. It survived with 2 HP, so wonderful change for orb control. It also should make the combo with that one talent viable again. I think it's called Twin Strikes, where you can jump on it and then attack, I think, three times um, to take down the orb. Really cool. Looking forward to trying that out again. And we have um, Toxin Blades now applies to all Plate Flurry strikes regardless of other buffs. Not 100% sure what that means. Um, one thing that I can think of, when you opened up on someone from stealth um, and you had Toxin Blades active, it did not apply the extra damage or whatever. Maybe that is something. Um, other than that, Cut to the Chase increases movement speed from 20% to 35 instead of from 10% to 30, so it's a little bit faster. Really happy about that. Um, but maybe you can go for Twin Strikes now as well. I don't know. We'll see. 
This one, the Jungle Toad nerf, is a big one. It hurts. It really hurts. Which is why I think Krog will probably not become much more viable on higher ranks just from looking at those changes, but we'll have to see. Anyway, um, this is a tier 3 talent which heals you when you jump on people. It had a bug where it also healed you when you hit someone with the stun from Camouflage. And it helped a lot. It helped tremendously to just stay alive. And having that 14 uh, less health every time now on round 3 might make a huge difference and might honestly almost be a bigger nerf than the other things together as a buff, as harsh as it sounds. But we'll have to see, honestly, it's hard to judge from now. So yeah, definitely a pretty big hit, but it's a good change because it's a bug fix and it was not intended. Then Noxious Launch, great change here. Slight rework now inflicts a 1.2 second root at all times, even if it doesn't have a toxin on the target and it doesn't consume the toxin anymore to deal more damage, it reapplies it now. So if you have a toxin running, it's about to run out, it just reapplies it, and the root always applies as well. I think it's a good change because before, if it consumed the toxin, you didn't really want that because then your sustain would have been gone, and the damage would have been dealt anyway most of the time, you know? So it was kind of useless before, that's why I didn't ever really take it. And Twin Strikes now adds damage to all Blade Flurry strikes regardless of other buffs. There seem to be ha uh, seem, seem to have been some issues there that it sometimes didn't apply, it didn't really ever notice it. And Camouflage Blade Flurry Strikes don't consume both Twin Strikes anymore. It's a nice fix. Freya has gotten just a few tweaks to her tier 1 talents. There was a bug fix on her EXE. Um, and she has gotten a damage reduction on her spacebar battle right, which deals only 8 damage instead of 12, which is pretty good. I'm happy about that. Not a massive change. Freya is very strong. It's probably not going to really hurt her too much, but I like that they're slowly approaching those changes. And Torrent gives you a bigger shield now, uh, up to 12 from 10. Chumong, very strong character right now, has been nerfed slightly. His rain of arrows has been reduced from 40 to 35 damage and the slow factor has been reduced from 40 to 30 damage. That, I think, was the strongest ability of him, and it's probably still very, very, very strong. But again, I like that they're doing a slow approach. They can still adjust things later on. You don't want to nerf something into the ground and just throw 30 changes at someone. And I think this will tone him down a little bit. It's probably not enough, though. But we'll have to see. I mean, I, I like it, though, honestly. If they change with the frequency that they're changing right now. I think it's going to be good. Then Lucy has gotten nerfs. Same story again. Slight nerf, I guess, but a little bit harder than Jumong. But to be honest, Lucy was like the strongest character in the game. She was pretty much the most picked character. And she's been doing very, very well. Her Toxic Dart deals only 9 damage over time instead of 12. So a nice, subtle change there. And her Deadly Injection range has been reduced from 10 to 8.5. It had a really long range, so I agree with that. Honestly, I think Deadly Injection is incredibly stupidly broken. <laughs> so I really would like to see more changes to that ability. It really has some serious issues. It forces way too much out of people, and it's just incredible. I, I would like to see more change there. But again, small steps and might they might do more to her in the future. And Petrify Bolt, super curious about this one. The cast time has been increased from 0.3 seconds to 0.5 seconds and the animation changed. So maybe it's um, a lot more clear to see when she's going to cast it now and you have a little bit more time to maybe to react to it. So I don't know. I feel like something like this might make Petrify Bolt a lot less useful because right now it's uh, a, an oh shit emergency button because it's a super fast CC right now and you can't really avoid it if you're shooting it from point blank. Um, with this, you can avoid it from point blank, I assume. You can actually react to it, not just predict it. And that might take away a lot of its uses and maybe you only use it for, I don't know, um, AOE CC now. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, but I, I think I like this, we'll just have to see because I don't know what the animation looks like and all that. Then Alder has gotten, well, there's team marker colors for his Chrono Flex now, it's good, it's great, and a bug fix for his ultimate thingy. That one talent, which heals for the damage taken. 
Then Paloma has gotten a buff to her other side that it always heals now without a talent even. Super awesome. I think it's a great change. Gives her some more self-sustain without having allies next to her. And there's a new talent which um, deals 8 damage and heals for 8 if you move through somebody with other side. Then we have Rook. And thank god they changed that. I think Rook might end up being really not really weak, but he might end up being too weak again. But um, his crushing blow was super overloaded before. It used to stun enemies, apply armor break, deal 16 damage, AoE, went through walls, and most importantly, went through frickin' counters and um, directional shields, which was mind-blowing. That ability did everything, and that one ability single-handedly carried Rook incredibly hard to new levels and made him really OP and a hard counter to specific champions like Shifu. He could just absolutely crap on a Shifu. Well, well now he might be too weak again, so we might have to change things again for Rook. I don't know, we'll see. But I like it. I'm happy they did it. Also, aim preview fixes for his stuff. Good changes. Then here, just tooltip change. Astral Beam, if two serious players casted it at the same time, only one of them dealt damage. Never saw that, that's really weird. And Taya gets iframes on her Zephyr EXQ now, which I think is fantastic. Very much looking forward to that. And the invisibility bug for orbs has been fixed and dropped energy. Mmm, super awesome. Really looking forward to that. And, um, da -da 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 -da. invisible previews, invisible aim previews. Oh yeah, right. There was an invisible aim preview sometimes as well, which was kind of weird as well. Other than that, really nice bug fixes here. Some optimization for people with low upload. And yeah, then they also added a little on the horizon part to the patch, which I think is really cool. The next step uh, for the ranking system is a season-based ranking with multiple and separate ranks per player. So probably 2v2 and 3v3 being separate ranks. Really cool. And seasons. Really excited for seasons. And my mainly to soft re reset. So, I mean, it's to be expected. So looking forward to that. Winter-themed content. Looking forward to... Oh my god, dude. I think maybe they will implement Thorn for Christmas. Just think about it. Thorn for Christmas because he's a freaking tree and we need a Christmas tree thorn. <laughs> like, there's no better time to implement him. I don't know if it's going to happen. I would really like it, though. And additional, uh, right, tree updates. Calling it. Calling it. <laughs> anyway. Also continue working on new exciting champions. Tree champions. Anyway. <laughs> Really excited for the patch. I'm looking forward to playing it all day today. I'm going to be streaming all day. I'm going to check out the new champion. And yeah, check out the stream if you're interested in it. See you guys next time. I'm out and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.